to politics now and the energy minister doubling down here at Queen's Park today after the story broke that he's been using quotes from a climate change denying website. This is a problem for the Ford government because it feeds right into the opposition narrative that the PCs just aren't doing enough to fight climate change. A website that has called climate science dishonest has said that global warming has nothing to do with pollution. Would the minister clarify his position to the House? As a well-studied person, I take every opportunity, whether it's on the internet or sources of literature, to consider different points of view, Mr. Speaker. The energy minister refusing to back down in the legislature after being called out for using a climate change denial website to justify cancelling wind turbines. He didn't come out to talk to the media today, likely because it didn't go well yesterday. What is the cause of climate change, then? What is the cause of climate change, Minister? Instead, the Minister of Environment came out to answer questions on why the Minister of Energy called Climate Change Dispatch one of his favorite periodicals, even though it denies the science behind climate change and that global warming is caused by humans. Do you think but, but, it should be brought up in the legislature as a source to justify cancelling wind turbines? Look, you know, I, I think what we need to focus on, and, and I really push this in the House and I push it with the opposition, is that we have to move away from partisanship with regards to climate change. The Minister of Environment may not have wanted to answer questions about the Minister of Energy, but the opposition sure did. Who, who would believe him on scientific issues when he takes the, the side of that kind of website? The genesis of this controversy is the Ford government's cancellation of renewable energy projects, including wind turbines, at a cost of $231 million. Lost in the argument over that price tag is the fact that the price for wind turbines is going down. Why would you cancel the wind turbines when they're actually going to be cheaper in the future? The Liberal Party uh, botched the whole green energy plan. We can all say that. It turned, turned, tore communities apart. Uh, there's a lot of unwilling hosts with regards to, uh, to uh, wind turbines. As for the future energy plan and the dropping costs of wind power, he deferred the answer to, you guessed it, the Minister of Energy, who was not available to answer the question. Does he have any credibility? No, not, 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 not after that. Now, publicly, no one from the Ford government will acknowledge that the energy minister quoting from a climate change denial website is really bad optics. Privately, though, many are saying it's pretty bad.